What's going on, everybody? My name is C4. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here for episode 10 of our NCAA Football 14 College Football Revamped Create a Team Dynasty with the Hollywood Tech Honey Hunters. We are at the end of our second full season as a school, and we have a very impressive 9-4 and record, and we're looking at our very first bowl game against 8-4 and Rutgers. They are, unfortunately, coming off an L, losing the Sun Belt Championship, our first, to Southern Miss, a team that we beat a week earlier. And uh, it was just game couldn't stop the run. Felt pretty good. You know, made big plays. We need to make big plays. But our run game did nothing. You're not going to win a whole lot of games when you get 11 yards rushing. And you look at Southern Miss. Their quarterback was not particularly good. When they throw the football, we felt pretty good. But they averaged 5 yards of carry. 110 for Frank Gore. Their quarterback was almost averaging 10 yards of carry. And surprise, surprise, would you bet that most of those rushes came on third and long? And they were able to extend drives. And it was brutal. I don't want to rehash it. Literally, I had to cut the last episode short because I was so frustrated. So we now pivot from a Sunbelt Championship loss to the R&L Carriers New Orleans Bowl. Bye, Kitty. Uh, where, of course, it is taking Rutgers. I don't blame them, especially with how our defense showed up. You know, you look at our, our numbers there. Number one total defense. Number five rush defense, which is absolutely a lie. Number one pass defense. Uh, that Those are very fake news type numbers. We are not nearly that good. And I think our offensive totals are more reflective of where our team is at. Rutgers, 8-4. and four. Um, You know? Again, all these teams aren't going to have the same kind of quality wins that we have. Right? We beat number three, Stanford. We hung in there. We lost kind of late. Number six, Miami. A lot of the wins in the Sun Belt were, you know, 7-5. and 7-5, and five, Arkansas State. You look at what Rutgers did. Well, Rutgers lost to Tulane. Lost to Maryland. Got a couple, you know, Western Kentucky, I guess, in there. They lost to UTEP. Yeah, you, it's hard to find a good win on Rutgers' schedule. So for that, I don't think this game's going to be one-sided. And You know what? We, we honestly have a shot. It is important to get a bowl win here. Kind of start things off. A bowl win in our second season is going to be awesome. So in today's episode, we're going to get through the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl, and we're going to go through the entirety of this offseason. We're going to look and see if any of our players can make the jump to the NFL and have our first drafted player which is unlikely. We are going to do a brand new transfer portal game, which I hate that I want to do this because it's most likely going to cost me some good players, but I feel like it is you know, a little bit of realism for what a team like Hollywood Tech would experience, where you have these breakout players that are likely going to leave somewhere else. So, we, you know, I think I have a good way of doing it, and I'll, get, I'll explain it when we get to it. We'll also have some ingoing transfers. We got an 81 linebacker from Georgia last year. Unfortunately, he had to sit out this year because old school transfer laws are in effect. But we'll see who we're going to add in the transfer portal, who we're going to potentially lose in the transfer portal. We'll finish out our recruiting, and we'll all gear up for year three of the Honey Hunters when today's episode is all said and done. But up first, we have business to handle against 8 and 4 Rutgers. Let's go win the first bowl game in school history. Come on, Tito. Oh, my God. He's gone. Oh, that 44 guy's pretty fast. Ah, no. 87 yards. That should have been a house call. We're going to go with slants here on second and six after a four yard crease McCool run. We got Tito Williams in the middle. We got Webb when you lose like that six seven frame. We're going to go right to Tito. Makes the grab. We get the first down. The rare red zone first down. Tough grab. Especially considering how many times Tito Williams has dropped a wide open deep ball. He's going to be, you know, I'm, I'm thinking. I already know, and obviously you guys don't know yet, but I know how I'm going to. Determine at least who's up for the transfer portal. I'll just say right now, it's good. You know, and it, the, the one that would sting the most, in my opinion, would be Tito Williams. But hell of a drive there. It's all started up by Tito Williams, capped off by a Chris McCool 13th rushing touchdown of the season. All right, Rutgers. Good start.
God damn, all right. Pretty decent passing offense, and just like that, Antone Jones gets almost all of that production on that drive, and we are tied up. Hell of a response by Rutgers. They're in 2 4 down territory. Chris McCool having a good game so far. Until there, fourth and three. I think we'd go for this normally, let alone in a game that it's really all or nothing. So I am going to call a slight audible. Where was that? This pass here. I like the look of this one. One thing I've yet to find outside of the fucking and Chuck and Hale, you know, shot play. We do not have a lot of money plays in our playbook. And this one felt, felt like they can operate this one. Like Webb got a great set of skills, man. He's a guy that's going to step up. And that is a great combination right there. He's showing out here to be a starter maybe next off next season. Second and eight, we got a good opportunity here. Maybe get Creeks Piccolo back, who surprisingly is our leading receiver this year with 30 receptions. Just kind of looking at the stats there. Oh my god, we got him. Yes! The big seven footer Jaquiz Shaq, who sneakily might make the transfer portal minigame that we're gonna have this offseason. Might. I think there's gonna be a lot of teams out there that'll be trying to throw a lot of catch at a seven footer. That has five receiving touchdowns, like 500 yards. Come on, Justice. Oh my God, how many plays did Marshawn Lynch out here? And he gets 15. And easy does it. Wimstat. Able to walk right in. We are tied up. But that's not the worst thing. Because Rutgers does get the ball to start the second half. So if we can do something with a minute 47, at least it potentially eliminates a two-for-one scenario. Oh, we got it. Did he get it? Oh, I thought he got his foot in bounds. Fuck. Now we got to punt it and hopefully see this one out until halftime. There we go. Talon Wilkinson. Big time sack. Another name for sure. Is going to be in discussion come transfer portal time. That's his sixth sack of the year. There we go. Demar Kane gets home. Would be uh, pretty impressive. We're going to go McCray. He's one of the better young freshmen in all of college football. Come on. What? Moss, Isaiah Washington, 30 yards on the sideline. That's embarrassing to give that one up. Here we go. Hell yeah. Coming off the edge. Corey Louis gets a big time sack. Sets up a third and nine. Now, third and long is where our defense has struggled all season long. Shouldn't be that difficult, but we find a way to make it so. Third and nine. They double team Wilkinson who sheds both blocks. And it's someone wide open. Oh, why? Why is it so hard? Every time. Pause. Yep. Yep. I don't know how that wasn't a touchdown, but it's kind of delays the inevitable. I appreciate a nice slant as much as the next guy. Look at their quarterback. Nine and for 11. That's sus. All right, let's go respond. Let's go, baby. That's what we need it. I mean, Bob don't slide. I think we all know Bob don't slide. All right, third and long again, trying to bend, not break. They need a touchdown or bust. I mean, it's a bowl game, so if they get this close, they might just go for it. But if we can hold to a field goal, that could spark what we need. But that is fourth and four. All eyes on the Rutgers sideline. What are they going to do on this play? They're going to settle for a field goal attempt. Jackass! Fuck. That was going to work. Go 
go Shaq quickly over the middle. Tough to bring down. 18 yards. Let's go quick. Oh, Tito! Let's go! 55-yard bomb, and it was not easy. He had to do a lot of work. The fine pay dirt on that one. Hell of a ball by Bob Podolsky. You know he wanted to redeem himself after Bob don't slide. And we're right in it. Go, good PBU there. Third and 21 after a holding penalty. We're going to try and keep all of the momentum with the Honey Hunters here in the fourth. But third and 21, that is still an area that as this defense has struggled. But luckily, Talon Wilkinson crushes the edge, gets in there, makes a play of the run game, and we force a punt. We go to Webb right at the sticks, breaks a tackle and a half. Screen pass to McCool, and he is up into the red zone. First and goal, Honey Hunters. Surprised them with that one. Surprised myself, honestly. Chris McCool is looking for his 14th rushing touchdown of the year, which would put him near the tops of the nation. Honestly, not the worst thing right there because we could continue to chew up a little more clock. And in there, for the 14th time this season, Hollywood Tech have a lead. Hell yeah, what a dumb play. Runs into the wall, that is B.D. Wells and Talon Wilkinson. Third and long, I mean, they know they're four down territory, I guess. And change your play caught up a little bit, but not a lot of time on the clock to try to chew this one up. Go for the grindy approach. Talent Wilkinson, relentless off the edge. Gets home. Sack fumble. No one there to recover it for the Honey Hunters. But this could be ball game. Fourth and 24. They're putting it. This first down. I'm going to go for it too, I think. If we keep the offense out here, regardless of what happens on... Ah. I'll do what Coach wants. If he wants to go for it, go for it. He wants to kick a field goal. Let me trust my high kicking field goal game. Come on, baby. Hell yeah! Oh, it's not that bad, but we got the touchdown buffer now. Don't shit the bed for a minute 29. And I don't think any school in FBS has ever won a bowl game within their first two years. Gilchrist, final game in college. Oh, no, he blew it! God damn it! 45 seconds. Who wants to who wants to make some history here? And it's that looks like 15 face masks if you ask me, but that's not what we needed. Damn it. Oh for fuck no fucking way. Oh my god, dude. Ah uh, It's like a brain freeze. You just chugged a slushy. Can we review that? Like, was he close to hitting the ground? Oh, they're going to review it. I'm not going to lie. I'm still going to go for another four verts. Ah, he might have been down. There's a chance this play is reversed. That looks like he was down to me right there. Come on. I want to get any lip. Yeah, let's go. think I'm done we're going for it again they're pressing Tito Williams for the love of God offensive line give me a shot here yeah! let's go He's the GOAT! 
The GOAT! Holy shit! Fucking love this game, man. I love this team. I love this game. Thank God the new game's coming out. I thought he was gonna, How many times this year has he dropped a pass like that? Four? Five? Not today. Incredible. Incredible performance. Hollywood Tech went from losing it to winning it to losing it to a forced fumble overturn. You got to feel bad for your Rutgers. I mean, I know. We just thought we had the win. They scored a, what was that, what, a 60 sub yard touchdown? But sometimes there are, it's college football, man. One player is all it takes to take over a game. I mean, it takes two to tangle. Hell of a job for the backup quarterback. Big Bob Podolsky battling after a pretty bad fumble. But Tito Williams. That is the most iconic play. Two of them. Honestly, both of his catches were absolutely insane. Goddamn right, that's number one. ESPN Instant Classic. You're goddamn right it is. Look at the stats here. Let's focus on us. Big Bob Podolsky when he needed to. 10 and 12, 257, three touchdowns, no picks. And I'll say this. I was going, you know, Vince Williams lost our starting quarterback. Led us to the big win, big upset win. Jocks versus Nerds over Stanford. I think Bob Podolsky has re-entered himself. I think it's a competition next year for who our starting quarterback is. Uh, Crease were cool. Now they're just, I mean, the yards right there that comes down to the O-line. 30 yards, two touchdowns, did his job when we needed him to. Webb made some nice grabs, a 6'7 freshman. But look at that. Buck, 53, two touchdowns. Tito Williams, Jaquiz Shack made some plays for us on the defensive side. Look at Talon Wilkinson, four TFLs, two sacks. Kane and Louie also with sacks. It's a team effort, but at the end of the day, sometimes you got Tito Williams. Other times you don't have him. And when you do have them, you win a lot of games. I'm going to pivot here, fellas. I'm going to say good news would be you'll get a lot more. I can't. That is such an all-time win. I can't follow it up with the doom and gloom, which is going to be this transfer portal offseason. I cannot. I will not. Because this game needs to be respected and honored for what it was, for what it is. So we are going to not do the offseason today. We'll get ready into the offseason season. But I think the final moments, the vibe from today's episode needs to be this win and not anything else I can take away from it. Hollywood Honey Hunters, our bowl game winners, year two of existence with the number one game of all time. What a freaking vibe. All time, man. All th what did we just see? We got some record holders. Chris McCool broke his own record, 1,600 yards rushing. He also topped the record holder for rushing touchdowns this season by three, finishing with 14. He also has the record for all-time touchdowns in school history. Bob Podolsky gets himself a career yards. I mean, a lot of these are always just going to be re-breaking the record, but Podolsky now holds touchdowns. We got receptions going to Crease McCool. We got receptions in a career going to Crease McCool. Yards in a season to Tito Williams. We got total yards in a career to Tito Williams. Touchdowns in a career to Tito Williams. Sacks in a season eight to Talon Wilkinson, which is outrageous, honestly, for like a sub-70 overall pass rusher. He now holds the record for sacks in a career as well. And we get a little upgrade here for Tom Savage. It's not going anywhere. And looking at how we can spend our points right now. I guess just because we're going to the offseason, we'll go with letter intent, get some extra points here for this offseason, and a chance to flip them from their top school. But at Top Savage, job security safe, prestige A minus, four and eight year one, 10 and four year two, sky's the limit for this program. And this is back to back years. Our defensive coordinator has got poached. 
This is S. James going to a new job. I'd like to give kudos to Scott James for doing an outstanding job with the defense last year, and he's now the head coach of San Jose State. And to close up the episode, look at the outgoing players. A lot of you guys never did anything, but some of you, you know, we're losing. Marcus Tolliver started center for us year one. Yokozuna started guard for us. We're going to be seeing goodbye to Gabe Passmore, who just always got camera time, always popped up. You know, little tidbits about him and where he's from, Norfolk, Virginia, even though he never did anything. It was annoying. Honestly, glad he's gone. Julius Rich, our, one of our few rare 70 overall plus players, the senior. Kind of a forgotten man, however, in the wide receiver room. And maybe out of everybody, most notably, Mike Becton, Florida, they made a couple of plays, but Vlad Gilchrist, the senior, finishes his career. 90 tackles in two seasons, 13 TFLs, five sacks. One pick, six, eight PBUs, three forced fumbles. Probably our first good player that we've seen go. Starter gone. Got to be difficult to replace him. So it's time to advance to the transfer request stage, which means it's the end of today's video. But honestly, fellas, I'm just going to record the next episode, so it won't be too long. This is Monday. I'm thinking Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. We will get back and we will round out this offseason for Hollywood Tech. And we'll likely probably include the season opener in the next episode since we've handled our business appropriately here but we just all need to sit here and appreciate myself and you guys that are invested in this series what an epic victory that was and respect and appreciate the chris mccools the bob Podolskis, the tito williams the jaquiz shacks the talent wilkinson's the mark canes the vlad gilchrist as he goes on to become lord knows what gym teacher probably high school maybe even middle school gym teacher a little sus hopefully high school and we'll be back for the transfer portal offseason. It's going to be brutal. Hopefully not too brutal. There's going to be an opportunity that it's not going to be too bad. But I'll tell you right now, the odds are going to be 50-50 for just about every player. So there's going to be some heartbreak. There's going to be some bad news. There's going to be some good news. A lot of emotions for the upcoming offseason. But thank you very much for tuning in to an epic all-time bowl game debut. That's how you debut in a bowl game for Hollywood Tech. That'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's only first time. Stop by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Until next time, it's your boy C4. Say peace out. Love you. Have a good one.